Why did Tim the Tool Man visit the dentist? He had a tool th ache. Welcome to the stream, my friends. Happy Wednesday, and thank you for being here. <laughs> we have Dead Zergling first in chat, followed by Subject Omega and Stack Cat and Lucent Jelly. Welcome in all, and uh, upside down for a while, courtesy of Stack Cat's redemption. But uh, thank you for joining me. Always home improvement. I want some home demolition. <laughs> We do more. We we cause more destruction than we do building up. So uh, that's almost what this game is all about. I've actually already got my coffee tonight. Thank you, Jelly. It's piping hot. Always a pleasure to be here. Omega says, right on. Yeah, how many times will I bong my head on the ceiling tonight? Yes, Zergling. Alright, let's uh let's throw these lives away so we can restart. It's weird. It's very this game is very weird. Like when you turn it on, it just it just automatic it doesn't wait for you to press start or anything. It just automatically goes into the game. Not looking good, seeing as you're hanging on to your chair for dear life upside down. Can't think of a better costume for the stream than Oh No. Yeah, oh No pretty much sums it up. Alright, now we can get a fresh start. It'd be really nice to uh, it'd be really nice to finish this game up. It'd be really nice to have it cleared off of our schedule. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I don't know. That world four is something else. You really think they'd end without an ice or water world of some kind? Well, I was just saying. I was just saying the other night that uh, it seems like a world with nine crates and a world with ten crates would make a lot of sense. I really don't want to play this game with ice physics. <laughs> Water, I don't know. Surely, if there was going to be swimming in the game, we would have encountered it by now. I could, uh, I could imagine ice, though. Fight a bunch of, uh, Fight a bunch of penguins. <gasps> Early power up. Let's go.
I don't know if I've pointed this out before. Sometimes you see me struggling with enemies, uh, particularly around cliffs. Tim will automatically walk when you're on a slope. He he automatically walks down the slopes. So, like, that's why I'm struggling there for my positioning. Is because he wants to walk all the way down to the bottom, and I want him to stop part of the way up. Ooh, can I jump high enough to get these? Oh, almost. I got some real ice and wind. Oh, gross. Hey, Game and Fit. Welcome in. Thank you for joining us. And Chozo's here as well. Welcome in, Chozo. Happy Wednesday to you. And Spewer, welcome in. Thank you for being here. I was just thinking, where's Frown? He didn't hear the notification. Yeah, sorry. A little late again. My sleep was a little better today than it has been the past few days, but not not good enough to get me back on track, but it was better. I, uh... I got longer chunks of sleep without uh, interruption than I am, uh, than I have been used to lately. I did. I did beat Tom and Jerry Chozo. That one is done. It took all night. It was the only thing we played. And actually, we did end the stream a little early last night. After I beat it. Um, we ended around 4 a.m. And we've been going to 5 most nights. But that one is that one is done. That one is done. Those later levels, some of those later levels are just unacceptably brutal. <laughs> I'll probably play that game, I would probably play that game again someday. That game is fun, it's good enough, I would, I would willingly subject myself to it again, but not immediately. We're improving homes. We're uh, we're destroying property, is what we are. Uh, what we're actually doing. Had the most beefy meal ever yesterday. Ten ounces of beef bacon, a pound of steak, a tall glass of milk. All cooked in beef tallow. And butter. Jelly and I have been having uh, chicken stir fry. We got a uh, we got a really good deal on on basil so we've got we've got basil coming out of our ears we've got so much basil so uh we're making lots of we're making lots of stir fry bogus bogus i was doing the thing and it didn't activate i got cheated Oh well, 
Oh yeah, there's a timer game in fit. The timer's brutal. I've lost to the timer a lot of times. If you don't have the levels memorized, then this timer will really get you. Hey, Beastiary, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Pleasure to have you join us. Hello. Uh, Karibos, welcome in. I am. I'm upside down for a few more minutes. Hopefully you had a wonderful stream tonight. We are kind of just getting rolling. I've been playing this game for a while, trying to trying to beat it. Ongoing first playthrough. It's pretty tough. <laughs> I've lost count. I've lost count of how many nights I've worked on this game now. It's pretty good, but it's also janky and frustrating and difficult, especially in the later stages. Timers and games where you've got to explore. Love it, Chozo says. Oh yeah, that's kind of what it's kind of what ruins the Sonic games for me. I don't really like the Sonic games because I I hate being on the time limit in those since they're like so open and exploratory, and I really hate the way the timer carries across your lives so that you uh, you get really robbed of your lives in Sonic games. Making good progress in Demon Souls. About a quarter of the way through already. Well done. It'll probably be like, probably be two years, two or three years before I play Demon Souls. That one is a ways off. That one is quite a ways off. It will be the uh, it will be the next Souls game I do after Dark Souls 2, but you know there'll be a huge gap. There'll be a huge gap before we get to it. In two years, that's almost a year. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Zergling. I'm very well practiced at drinking upside down. I can even drink I can even drink out of an open mug. I mean I've never pretended to be a very big Sonic the Hedgehog fan. <laughs> uh, if I gave you another if I gave you the opposite impression, my apologies. They're fine. I don't hate the Sonic games. I just hate the timer in the Sonic games. I, uh, I would like to play through. I would like to play through and get the, uh, like, get all the Chaos Emeralds in the uh, Genesis Sonics at least someday. Like, I'd like to, I'd like to play them enough to be able to do that, but I'm not in a hurry to do it either. Huh? I like this weapon. Hey Greg, welcome in. Pleasure to have you with us as always. Oh no, I've been in and out of hospitals the last hour or two of your stream. Uh, I've been missing. I'm sorry to hear that, Chozo. 
I hope you're going to be all right. I thought you were, uh, I thought you were on the upswing. I thought you were on the upswing a day or two ago. Oh, I'm having a lot of trouble. Oh, I can't jump back up there either. Oh. Wait a moment, can I? I uh, can't make that jump either, I don't think. It's okay. Why was that so hard, Tim? No! What's going wrong with me here? Ah, I'm fine. It's my dad. He's doing a lot better. He eats his dinner better when I'm there. Uh, so... <laughs> Ah, uh, so you're going with an all-business attitude, I see. Well, that's very, it's very good that he has you there, that he has you there for him. Dark Souls 2 is the best one. No! Ah! Where are the bolts? I hate missing those big things that come down. Every time I see one crate left, I miss reading just one credit left.
That pterodactyl, that particular pterodactyl makes me super nervous. I always feel like I'm going to get robbed in that encounter. Yay, we got the dragonfly too. My family have a tradition of greatly overexerting ourselves, overplaying sports of some kind. I'm no exception. My dad recently proved you're never too old to be stupid. Oh no. I hope he's uh hope he's gonna be alright, Zergling. Hope he's gonna recover swiftly. It looked, it looked from my vantage point as if that pterodactyl exploded from nothing. <laughs> I know I damaged him a few times, but I didn't see, I didn't see a final hit. It just looked like he just exploded. <laughs> he was frustrated. Actually, I'm holding the button too much. Uh, people need to accept they have a limit. There's no age limit to the pain train. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, accepting your limits can be easier said than done, though. Hey, cows, welcome in. Robbed! Robbed again! These ants are really, really bogus tonight. We improved our homes yet? Not in the least. I don't know if we have, uh, I don't know if we're done catching mice, but, uh, it's certainly, we've certainly slowed down. <laughs> we're not, we're, we're not catching them very, we, we, we might not be catching them at all anymore, but we're certainly not catching them very frequently anymore. So that's good. But, uh, I think, I don't know if it means, you know, I don't know if it means we got them or if they've gotten smarter. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna assume, I wanna assume the former. <laughs> but they outwitted me. They've outwitted me before, so I'll not underestimate them again. Mm -hmm. 
I got really lucky that that pterodactyl didn't hit me. I forgot he was there. I don't want that uh, flamethrower. The items that enemies drop in this game do not persist for very long at all. Like, they're basically already blinking out of existence as they uh, fall to the ground. Can I make this jump? Oh, thank goodness. Take no chances. Yeah, the way I'm fighting these ants. The way I'm fighting these ants, yeah. I'm, it's very likely I'm being outsmarted. Dragonfly almost got me. No! Ah! Did you see what happened? An egg came rolling through the tar and got me while I was not able to jump out even though I had a power up you should be able to make that jump with the power up I did it on the previous stage even and I've done it countless times before but uh, things are not going my way We had a good appointment today, by the way, for those uh, interested. The ultrasound, everything looking good. The ultrasound technician said everything looked really great. That's what's going on for us. Got a bunch of got a bunch more pictures that look like indecipherable like like Rorschach ink blots. <laughs> I never know. I never know what I'm supposed to be looking at in the ultrasound pictures. <laughs> Sometimes I can make out like a hand or a foot, but I'm usually just at the mercy of just accepting whatever the doctor tells me it is. <laughs> uh, if you say so. No, I didn't want this weapon. Yuck, I didn't know that was up there. Very good to hear, Cal says. Thank you. Yep, that's uh, that's the kind of news we want. What? I can't go through there. 
That little area exists just to give me a weapon I don't want. There we go. I knew there was a way out of there. Just couldn't get to activate. You make an AI image of you fighting mice in your basement, Joseph says. We didn't get any, uh, we didn't get any good, uh, looks at, we didn't get any real good looks at Baby's face today because he had his, uh, his hands up in front of his face the whole time like a, like a boxer. So I just, yet, yet another sign that it's about time for me to start a punch-out playthrough. Oh no, I thought I had a power-up. I just lost all my stuff. I thought it was safe to walk on those spikes. Uh... Ah, uh, three duck eggs over easy and a pound of steak for tonight's meal, Zergling says. <laughs> Creating now will send in the DMs. Alright, I'm looking forward to it, Chozo. I mean, we have a, there's an art channel in the Discord if you want to post, if you just want to post it in there. That's, uh, you know, that's kind of what that's for. Any sort of artistic creations. I wonder if I'll have the right number of fingers. The more fingers, the better for punching. <laughs> has there ever been? Has there been a famous boxer with a with a who had additional fingers? I feel like I've heard of uh, pianists with extra fingers. But I don't know if I've actually heard of a boxer. <laughs> I have no fingers. Uh, yeah, even the kid, even the kid is telling me to play Punch Out. I want to play it. I want to. I want to play it. I've been thinking about that game a lot lately. For some reason, it's just been on my mind.
I know it's going to be an endeavor. That's the only that's the only thing about it. It's just that I know it's going to be one of those games that takes me forever to get through. Hey, that went really well. Let's go. Can't get that. Can't get that giant ring. I think you'd do well in Punch Out considering how Friday the 13th went for you. Thank you for the trophies, cows. Oh, yeah, just video game logic. Extra fingers sounds like a power up. I mean, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, video video games are just part of the frowny family genetics, Greg. <laughs> We've been upside down way too long. That's a good world one. That's world one deathless. That's a good world one. I mean, it actually wasn't good in a lot of ways. I had a lot of places where I felt really cheated by the game, but I didn't pay the ultimate price anywhere, so we'll call it good. We'll call it good. Can I not pick this up, please? Oh, you know what? I do want it, though, because it's more useful against a couple enemies here at the start. Hey, Epi Pen, welcome in. Not uh, not much is up. Not much is up today. More uh, more home improvement. Kind of same old, same old. World one went really well. So we we started off uh, we started off okay, but we got a long way to go. Still got a long way to go. Mm-hmm. 
You mentioned having your eggs over easy, Zergling. I've been having eggs with my stir fry. I've been having eggs with my stir fry, um, as I usually do, but my eggs have been coming out really uh, over medium. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I've. I don't know what's gone. What's gone wrong? But the past two nights, I've overcooked my eggs two nights in a row. I look in the mirror. I don't recognize myself anymore. I've been living off fast food for dinner. Chozo says. I mean, when you got when you got a lot of stuff going on, I think I kind of think that's to be expected, right? Take advantage of the deals on the apps. I don't have any of the fast food apps. I've never used any of those. Um, we mostly just stick to like the traditional paper coupons. Like we definitely, definitely seek the deals, but we get like a circular every now and then. That's got a bunch of. Uh, local places coupons in it haven't been having anything fast food for a while lately it's been a well basically for as long as i haven't had a soda i haven't had fast food so you know like eight eight, eight weeks or so but at some point at some point we'll grab some again i'm sure uh, fairly gay, welcome in. Thank you for joining us, Direwolf. Thank you for joining us. Uh, new level. Well, not not really. This is level two. We've been here. We've been through through here. My PB is world four, and this is world two. So this uh, not quite new to me. You might not have uh, you might not have caught this one before, but uh, world one went really well. We're moving along. We are moving along pretty nicely so far it's usually the kind of thing I say right before I fall into a death pit <laughs> I like my eggs scrambled just a little on the mushier side my ex liked her scrambled eggs crunchy <laughs> so when I do scrambled eggs I do a pretty hard scramble I, I don't know about crunchy <laughs> Crunchy sounds like a bit much, but I do, uh, my eggs are not, my scrambled eggs are not like, are not like mushy, runny scrambled eggs. They, uh, they have a pretty, like, firmly set curd. They're kind of like, uh, I, I do my scrambled eggs a lot like you would do an omelet. Where, like, I let them, I let them cook pretty thoroughly before I even start to move them. Might not be everyone's style, but my uh, my over easy eggs I do pretty much the exact opposite. Food talk. I just settle down with some cheesy broccoli over rice. Oh no, I took a I took a hit, didn't I? Ah, oh, I wasn't looking, and I took damage. Curses. Um, I'm not sure where to go now. I'm confused about the map all of a sudden. Oh. Things are going bad for me now. <laughs> Uh, I was just talking about how things are going okay, and now they've start, suddenly started to go real bad. Mm -hmm. 
I need a I need a turnaround. I haven't had fast food until yesterday. Got a burger and a milkshake. Gaming Fit says, "Yeah, you were saying it was you were saying it was hot enough outside. You could you could drink your milkshake without getting a without getting a a, a headache." <laughs> Apps are required to use modern phones, and not some retro brick. Cal says, "You got me, cows." I have a, uh, I have, I, shockingly though, I do, I do actually have a, a smartphone. I didn't for the longest time. I was, uh, I was using a, I was using a, an old Nokia brick way longer than you would believe it to be possible. <laughs> way, way, way longer. My uh, my smartphone was. I mean, I've acquired the the. I've acquired my phone, my 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 smartphone that I have. I've acquired it within the lifespan of the stream, so it's that recent to me. <laughs> there were uh, there were plenty of streams early on where I had people shaking their heads in disbelief because I had no phone. <laughs> I lived like that for a good while. That silver, that giant silver ring is just super hard to grab. Alright, let me, I'm going to pause at the beginning of this level. Let me catch up. I'm really behind on the chat. And I want to know what everyone has to say. McDonald's and Pizza Hut's have good deals here. Can't be bothered cooking when I get home, especially after feeding all the animals. Yeah. Uh, you've never seen this world before. Yeah, no worries, Direwolf. No worries. I appreciate the enthusiasm. I just wish, you know, I wish I, I wish I could confirm that I was somewhere new and we could and we could celebrate. But uh, we haven't gotten there yet. Are you sure she didn't just add the whole eggs, including the shells? Yeah. Did she remember to crack it? Uh, she fries them in oil and uses the oil to give the eggs a crunchy texture. She's not a fan of those eggs. Okay, well, you know, when I do my eggs, I fry my eggs in oil too. I don't do them scrambled eggs. They're, they're uh, well, I say over easy, but over easy you have to flip, right? So mine are technically sunny side up because I don't flip them. Um, but I, I fry them in oil. And uh, and baste and like baste the oil over top of them as they're cooking, and do them real. So that's one of two ways. I either do a really hard scramble that's all like an omelet, or I do the the most easy sunny side up eggs you've ever had, where the the white is just bare, like like the white is done cooked, done being cooked, but the yolk is like not cooked at all. I watch when the white, the like the millisecond the white is finished, I take my eggs out of the oil, and uh, they're great. He's like that with his fried eggs. He makes them crispy and the yolk is gooey. Oh yeah, but see the way I fry them is yeah, they they do get kind of crispy around the edges when I do them sunny side up. But only around the only around the very edges. Which I actually really enjoy. It gives a nice like uh contrast. But uh but uh what was the rest of that thought? Oh, if the whole thing, if the whole thing were dried out and crispy, that would be pretty unpleasant. Deep fries is his boiled eggs. I've never tried that. That's like a scotch egg though, right? I mean, that scotch egg's a little more complicated. You like wrap it in meat and then deep fry it. Uh, 
I only have a smartphone to use the authentication apps almost everything requires now. Yeah, and I actually um I actually use my tablet for the authenticator. My my phone my phone doesn't do that. But yeah, that's a good reason to have one. I I almost never use my phone. I don't carry it. I don't carry it on me. The only person I communicate with is Jelly <laughs> via the phone. So it doesn't get a lot of use, but it's there, you know. It's there in case of emergency. You strike me as someone who is accepting of change. Is that... A, I don't know if that's sarcastic or not. <laughs> I'm not sure how to respond to that because I don't know if we're... I don't know if we're making a joke at my expense. <laughs> Extra calcium eggs, eh? Spewer says. Yeah, good for your bones. It tasted like glass candy eggs without the candy taste. <laughs> Uh, slow cooked eggs can be amazing. I've seen videos where people like cure egg yolks in hot sauce or soy sauce, and I've been tempted to try that. To, um, but I don't know what I would do with all the leftover egg whites. If I could figure out something, if I could figure out what I would want to do with the leftover egg whites, I would try one of those things where I where I see people curing eggs, in uh, in some sort of sauce. I think that the, that those could be cool to have. <laughs> Make macaroons. <laughs> Oh yeah, those uh those do require egg whites. Well, I'm not having a lot of sweets. I'm not having a lot of sweets right now, cows. Can you is there is there a good way to preserve egg whites? Like can you freeze them? I oh, can make savory ones. That's a thing? That's a thing? Pancakes? Use egg whites instead of the, uh, instead of the whole egg? Yeah, pan pancakes I would put in the category of sweets as well. I know you wrote that suggestion before I, uh... I think you wrote that suggestion before I said that. But, uh, yeah. That is something I could... I could do, but, uh... Y'all are making me hungry. <laughs> We talk about, I mean, you know, you know the drill, Game and Fit. We talk about food here almost all the time. <laughs> There's a, it at least comes up. It at least come food at least comes up every night. It might not always spark a whole conversation, but it's always mentioned. I've never actually had a sweet pancake, so that's news to me. <laughs> I've only ever had pancakes, like, you know, with, like, with, you know, with syrup and stuff. I've only ever thought of them as being sweet. I mean, the pancake itself isn't sweet, but it's always topped with tons of sweet stuff. Uh, carbonara. Savory pancakes with hot sauce? Wipe out 
this guy through the wall here. I have a feeling that the clock is gonna catch me on this uh, on this level. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get timed out. Ninety nine percent retro gaming, one percent uh, mukbang. And you guys make me hungry all the time too. Fair enough. Scotch pancakes are sweet. Direwolf said, I only eat my eggs three ways. Scrambled, omelet, or mayo for sandwiches. I didn't used to. I didn't used to be on board with the, um, with the uh, runny eggs. But I knew, like, I knew runny eggs were a thing for the longest time. My mom, my mom liked runny eggs. She would make her eggs really runny with toast to, like, dip it, dip in it. But uh, that always grossed me out when I was a kid. But I knew that, I knew that it was uh, common for people to top stir fries with a, uh, with a runny egg. I knew that was a thing. And then eventually I saw a video on YouTube of someone making a Thai basil uh stir fry and they topped it with an egg at the end and that's what won me over to to experiment to try it because it looks so good in that video i was just like oh, i have to i have to do it i have to finally do it and i worked up the courage to try it and it changed my life I was I wanted to going to see if Sekiro would be a problem with input lag. The first fight I did ended with a perfect parry, so I guess I'm in for this torture, Game and Fit says. <laughs> Good luck, Game and Fit. Check out tea eggs. Or seasoned ramen soft boiled eggs. Game and Fit says, I noticed a pattern with these Souls games. I'm mentally preparing for the next part going, I hate this part, but here we go. And that happens over and over and over again. I think I just hate all the parts until I see the credits roll and then I go, man, that was such a great game. <laughs> all right, Game and Fit, you've been watching the stream way too long. You just summarized every playthrough of every game I ever do. <laughs> uh. I don't like sugar, so I traditionally serve pancakes with just a dollop of butter and a sprinkle of ginger on top. I've never had uh, I've never had ginger on my pancakes. Yeah, just the pistachios and the hot sauce and the water. It's pretty, pretty, pretty weak. It's a it's a pretty weak mukbang, isn't it, EpiPen? <laughs> uh, hey, Kasari Gaba, welcome in. Scrambled eggs are good, but deviled is best. Eggs are only acceptable in baked goods, Cal says. <laughs> Scrambled, no exception. That or French toast. Oh, I love French toast. I used to think savory pancakes were just thin omelets, Direwolf says. Yeah, I don't I don't think I've ever actually had a real savory pancake. It's uh that's an experience I have thus far missed. But yeah, I'm not I'm not having a ton of sweets. Um Jelly, Jelly has to be really careful with her carb counts lately, so we're not having uh, we're not having a lot of carbs in general. Um, and then anything that's like like super processed or refined sugars and stuff like that, and it we're just avoiding almost entirely.
Because what what carbs what carbs she can have, we're uh, you know going for like more complex. The whole grains and all that stuff. Everyone always says you're supposed to eat. <laughs> I like whole grain stuff though. I've always liked uh, I've always liked like the the whole grain and wheat breads better because I think they I like their richer flavors. Well, I can't say always, because I didn't have them when I was really young. But once I learned about them, I've always preferred them. Sounds like egg white omelets would be on the menu then. Yeah, that's a possibility. That's a possibility. That's some that's something we can do. I just uh trying to consider what other options I have, I guess. Most greens are high in kidney stones, EpiPen says. Uh, you say that while I'm eating broccoli. How could you do this to me? <laughs> I think if you're, uh, I think if you're susceptible to them, right? If you're already, if you're already susceptible to kidney stones, you got to be careful with your greens. Too much egg discussion, Spear says. I'm getting my thoughts scrambled. <laughs> well done. One crate. Where's the last crate? Is it to the left? Well, I'll never know until the snake goes away. There are all kinds of ways to be unhealthy. This is true. You know, just like every... Every, it seems like almost every food, right? There's uh, ways that it's healthy for you and ways that'll kill you. <laughs> Nutrition is super complicated. And a lot of the science is super sketchy. <laughs> Down with broccoli, it's cauliflower, nothing, Direwolf says. Oh, no, I love broccoli. I love broccoli. I, uh, I don't do, I don't do cheese with my broccoli, because I'm, I'm very weird about cheese, and I have difficulty combining cheese and produce. Um. But I, uh, I've always, uh, I've always loved broccoli. I, uh. Just have it with some butter and salt and pepper. I rarely do cheese for my broccoli. Uh, it's an odd... I have a craving for this thing. Uh, for me, which was today. But cauliflower is just white broccoli. <laughs> I do like cauliflower too. I'll eat cauliflower as well. If you're sensitive to oxalate kidney stones, be very aware of your greens. Every bin says. 
Omega's getting sleepy. Good night, everyone. Good night, Omega. Thank you for being here. I hope that you sleep well. Have a fantastic tomorrow, my friend. Bort Jams, good afternoon. Welcome in. Good to hear you're doing good. Cauliflower nauseates me. I've tried cauliflower rice, steamed cauliflower, baked raw. No methods work for me. Yeah, I'm all right with cauliflower. I like broccoli more. Um, but I'll do a steamed cauliflower and same thing. I just, uh, a little bit of butter, some salt and pepper. And I'm good to go. Hang on, I always fall for this. The pathway through this level is really well hidden. This is where I'm supposed to go. Wow, the flamethrower, the flamethrower's hitbox extends. This flamethrower is like a real flamethrower. You don't actually have to hit the enemies with the uh, with the fire directly, because the like hitbox from the flamethrower reaches further than the flames. So like, it's like a real flamethrower. Even if the flame even if the flame misses you, the heat can still get you. <laughs> Home improvement. Ten out of ten for realism. Cauliflower cheese, like mac and cheese, but with vegetables instead. Only veg I can really stand are peas and green beans, Kasari Gama says. I like peas. Green beans. So I grew up I grew up eating canned green beans all the time. But I've kind of lost my taste for them. I kinda I've kinda lost my taste for canned green beans. I like peas. Um though. I use peas when I make fried rice. I think they're a good they're a good vegetable to throw in there. I don't eat them by themselves that much, uh, peas, but I can. Yeah, let's go ahead and change my weapon. I was debating whether I wanted to switch weapons or not. I'm wasting a lot of time. I need to start grabbing some of these crates soon or things are going to be really bad for me. That enemy didn't exist a moment ago. Hey Derek, welcome in. If I didn't say so, great to have you uh, with us. Yeah, exactly, Greg, because we can all walk through walls in real life. Realism maxed out. Just started watching Home Improvement again on Disney Plus, Direwolf says. Hopefully you're finding it enjoyable.
They were certainly aiming for this game with certainly aiming for realism with this game. What the electric chainsaws and dinosaurs, Gal says. My friends in uh, Minnesota sent us home with a gallon bag of Chex Mix that I'm very happy. Right on. I love, uh, I'm assuming it's a, uh, assuming it's a very nice homemade Chex Mix. And one of the top reasons for a game not starting is because I didn't start the game. <laughs> Canned green beans can be acceptable if you drain them and rinse them. Lightly saute them, in my opinion. Remove all that extra preser preservative flavor. Yeah, I guess I haven't really experimented, to be fair. I'm definitely not against canned foods. I'm, I'm more than happy to, to use and eat canned foods. Um... Just the, the last few times I've had green beans from a can, I've been like, I don't think, I don't think I like these anymore, but they've just been like, they've just basically just been boiled, um, and served. Um, if I, if I did some more work to them. That might help. That might help. Been liking Margaret Holmes stained Italian green beans lately, EpiPen says. I'm not familiar with this. Depends on the wall whether or not we can walk through it. Oh, we can walk through walls. It just hurts most of the time. <laughs> uh, fresh will always be superior, but any hit pinch can can be a decent uh, additive if you remove the salty brine flavor. Stained equals seasoned EpiPen says. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, I just, I don't know. I'm not, not familiar with Margaret Holmes or, uh, you know, this particular recipe or style. I can eat veggies right out of the can myself, Greg says. Corn, green beans, peas. I use, uh, so yeah, I use canned corn a lot and I use, um, canned, uh, beans a lot. I don't use canned, I don't use canned peas. Um, I use, I use frozen peas. And I'm not always crazy about frozen vegetables. Sometimes I feel like they get a weird taste or texture, but peas, I think, freeze really well. Lost my power up. Curses. I have bad things to say. I didn't want to pick this up. Yeah, yeah, corn is a corn is a starch. Yeah. I don't trust tomatoes after seeing Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, Derek says.
Frozen Peas are probably sponsored by the hit 2013 movie Disney's Frozen Board Jam says. Uh, I'm allergic to iodine. So the iodized salt in a lot of canned goods, I have to rinse it off uh, to not have a reaction. It still affects me, but not as bad as it would without rinsing them first. Oh. I see, I see. I've never seen, I've never seen Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I haven't seen the movie or the cartoon. I remember there being a cartoon, but I never watched it. Unfortunately, I'm uh, I'm really lucky. I don't. There's nothing. There's nothing that I know of that I'm actually allergic to. And if there is something, hopefully, I never find out. <laughs> no. rip that damage that damage hurt a lot I would not believe the amount of times I've gone to to a proper sit down restaurant and stress that my dish cannot have salt in it, just to get a dish that is salted and leaves me bloated and uncomfortable afterwards. That's uh, that's very rough. I'm sorry to hear that. That's a tough one. That's a tough one too because like. It's not like, salt isn't something that you can usually just like see is there to avoid, right? I wouldn't even bother eating out in that case, Greg says. definitely make it less appealing but I mean you don't want to you don't want to just give up everything right This game makes me experience negative emotions. How do I, I never remember how to get over to that last crate. It's maddening.
It always seems like it can't be reached from either side. The floor is lower here than I remember, is why I always get confused at this part of the stage. That's what it is. Hey, Master Tuesday, welcome in. Thank you for the lurk. Uh, people that don't have allergies have a hard time understanding the struggle of those with allergies when it comes to going out to eat. I mean, I can I can understand it, but uh, it's like intellectually, but yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm sure I don't get the full the full magnitude of it of what a hassle it, it feels like. Yeah, a lot of times social situations will pull you out to uh, pull you out to eat somewhere. Whoa, game and fit. That's pretty intense. Oh, did I say happy Tuesday, Tuesday? At any rate, I hope it is one. Evil laughter, never a good sign. Dark Souls lore is all about killer tomatoes. I prefer Angry Birds lore, Game and Fit says. It'll be once a happy Tuesday once this headache goes away. Well I hope that is I hope that occurs swiftly. Jelly has a Jelly has a few al allergies. Um they, uh, she's allergic to hazelnut and Brazil nuts. And, uh, I think a few other, like, she's not allergic to tree nuts in general because, like, she can eat walnuts and sometimes, like, sometimes she can eat them if they're cooked, but not if they're raw. I just always err on the I just always err on the super cautious side and pretty much and just pretty much never offer her anything that has any type of nut so that I don't have to uh, keep tabs on the rules. Though I know she can have, I know ones that she can have like you know like cashew like we put cashews in our stir fry because I know she can have those and stuff but. But 
but uh, I don't have a good handle on the on the full list of what of what sets off her allergies, and I don't think that, and I and I'm not a hundred percent sure that she even knows. <laughs> Why do they have to put spikes there? Why? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Uh, Gaming Fit says drink plenty of water to cure a headache. Sometimes that helps. Or if there's a specific enzyme that gets cooked away who knows food allergies are bizarre yeah I'm not really I'm not really sure I've been like I've been I've been with with jelly to like the doctor and, and when they'll and sometimes like they'll ask about allergies and she'll you know and she'll mention that like you know it's this and this and some some things like when they're raw but not when they're cooked and the doctors just kind of they just kind of make a hmm face <laughs> like they think it's weird too You're expecting this game to make sense as a rookie mistake, Frowny Cow says. <laughs> uh, I should be embarrassed. I should be embarrassed. Get headaches from a uh, caffeine withdrawal sometimes. Sometimes a little bit of a little a little bit of coffee makes my headaches go away. Well, I assume it's from caffeine withdrawal because the coffee makes it go away, but. <laughs> Maybe the coffee hydrates me and that helps. Who knows? It's so infuriating to get hit by one of these ants when I've got when I've got the jackhammer activated. It's infuriating. How am I supposed to respond with anything other than just 
apocalyptic rage. <laughs> I'm so sensitive to caffeine, can't even have decaffeinated tea. I've uh, I've cut my caffeine. I've cut my caffeine pretty far back. I uh, I do like I drink coffee all night long. If you've been to the stream, you know, but my coffee is um it's a uh, it's a mix of uh one-third caffeinated and two-thirds decaffeinated grounds so it is theoretically less intense than the caffeine in the caffeine department and sometimes it's and sometimes it's just regular decaf though usually not that's a change because uh I was I was just having full caffeine coffee every night for a long time. Thank you for the lurk port jams. It's silly to expect most games to make sense, Greg says. Been getting headaches a lot from intracranial pressure from laying down too much, Game and Fit says. The, the projector gives and the projector takes away. Could explain a lot of my headaches as well, Greg says. Oh, I'm glad I saw that fire up there before it was too late. I almost got roasted. I still have three crates left. Oh my goodness. Three is too many. Playing games from a laying down position or oversleeping a lot can cause headaches. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, oversleeping.
<laughs> Oversleeping, what's that? Never heard of it, Cal says. Uh. Let's go. No, I tried to get the big ring, but it got away from me. Boss time. This is a long game, right? That was a long game. Each world always takes an hour. As much as I play this, I don't really get faster at it. <laughs> I've got this weird pillow that's like a ramp. It's at a very steep incline and it's like really firm so that when you lay on it, like it'll lift part of your body up off the bed to keep you at an angle. And I got it, I got it a long time ago because I thought it would help combat uh, acid reflux. But I haven't used it, I haven't really used it in years. I don't know what the point of that was. I was just thinking about it based on the chat. <laughs> I don't know what point I was hoping to make. I didn't really find it easy to sleep with, though. I never really, uh... Like, I used it for, for a long while, but... I never really got used to it. It's tool time consuming. Hey, Buddha fingers, welcome man. Always great to see you, my friend. Hope you're well. Home improvement projects always take forever. Very fitting for it being a long game. Gal says, "Oh, oh, don't I know? Oh, everything I try and do around the house takes ages."
What even hit me? The spike? Get out of here. I'm dead. Awesome. There's our first death. There's our first death of the night, and it came in the, the cheapest, ugliest, dumbest way it possibly could have. I'm infuriated. It's all downhill from there. It's all downhill from there. Once I die once, it's all it's all over. <laughs> uh. Is it actually a home improvement trip if it doesn't take three trips to the hardware store? <laughs> So, I use charcoal. Maybe, maybe I can. Maybe someone would give me some advice here. I always use charcoal when I grill. Um, I've never owned a propane grill, and um, I haven't had great experience with a uh, propane in the past. Like I don't know. Like sometimes, like the food that comes off of a propane grill can taste really uh, chemically to me um and that's not to say that all that that's always gonna happen but it's probably gonna happen for me because i don't know much about using propane and i probably wouldn't buy a super expensive high-end grill and so my my combination of ineptitude and cheap product would probably yield bad results but one reason i'm afraid i'm really afraid of propane is i don't know how, like i don't i'm not confident in my ability to judge whether a propane tank is full or empty just by its weight and until and until that problem is solved for me i'm definitely going to be locked out of propane I don't know why there can't be a sensor or a meter on the on the on the tube to to let me know what's up. Why is that a problem for you? Because I'll never know if my I'll never know if my tank actually has propane in it. And I don't want to I don't want to waste a ton of money swapping out half full tanks all the time <laughs> or find myself in the opposite position where I think I have propane and then I can't start up my grill because the tank is empty I used to work in a cafeteria and uh one of my responsibilities was I had to do purchase ordering for um, soft drinks. So we'd order the, we have to order the syrup and we'd have to order the CO2 charges for the fountain machine. <laughs> and you had to, and I had to order those, like, 
I had to, I had to, when I placed the orders, I had to feel the, the tanks and judge by feel whether they are empty or full and how many we needed. And I could never tell, so I always just guessed randomly. <laughs> I was not very good at that job. <laughs> uh. Most people just let the tank run empty, to be honest. I don't know. I don't have a good, uh, I don't have a good, what is it, kinesthetic sense, I guess. I can't, uh, I can't memorize, like, how heavy something's supposed to feel. <laughs> I can't offer any help. All the grills I've had have been built-ins and have natu natural gas hookups, Gal says. And Kill is let down right now. <laughs> You'd like a word with me. Go somewhere like Tractor Supply, um, where you can do refills instead of exchanges. Yeah, I guess if that's if that kind of thing is an option. I mean, I'm not really in the market for a grill. I'm happy using uh, I'm happy using charcoal. Um, I'm happy using charcoal with for my grill currently. I don't really have any problem with that, but. I thought of it when you came in, Buddha Fingers, because I was admiring that uh that that walk that you uh that you showed off in the Discord once and I, I thought just thought about that when you came in. And that's uh that runs on propane, right? So if I wanted to get a uh, if I wanted to get a a super powered walk like that, I'd have to get uh familiar with propane. No liquid feels very different from a ton. I don't know. I just never got the uh, just never got the right feel for it. I love my propane grills. Uh oh, please. Stay away, ghost. I'll sell up my charcoal grills. I think they both have their uses. I used a propane grill. Um, same job. The cafeteria job. One of my uh, responsibilities. Every every Saturday, they served steak in the uh, in the cafeteria, and I was the one responsible for grilling the steak, which was excellent because I got to work outside. It was fun to do. I got to have my own music playing. 
There was a big uh, propane grill that we had there. But I didn't have to worry about the tanks. <laughs> they were always ready for me. Have I missed a thing? For what it's worth, Cuisinart makes a walk cart now that may make everything easier for you. I was waiting for the star to spawn. I don't. I knew it was supposed to be there. I didn't know why it wasn't showing up. I've been having a uh, jelly, and I've been having stir fry the past couple nights, and. Uh, we're going to be having it for the next, probably the next week, because we got a we got a great deal on a whole lot of basil, and uh, just uh, again, it's put very presently on my mind how nice it could be to have a really nice walk with uh, with a lot of heat under it. Oh, you get a pressure gauge to connect to the opening. I missed that comment, Spear. That might be that. That might that might be a way that works to take the. Uh... Take some of the pressure off of my shoulders. I don't think the pressure gauge would be that helpful. No. Yeah, just I don't know. It just it just seems uh, uh, just sort of judging by the feel of the weight is just something that fe it just seems so subjective. I need a more like I just need a more objective standard to judge by. I mean, not that I I say I need this like like it's something I actually need, and I no I don't actually need this like I'm it's not <laughs> my situation is just fine without it, but you know just sort of thinking.
Because in actuality, I'll just continue to do what I've always done. <laughs> and just, uh... Just stick to the things I'm familiar and confident with. Yeah, do not need, but would not mind having. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's fun to, to you know, sometimes it's fun to dream, right? All these possibilities out there. We need a propane tank stream. <laughs> uh, the tank could explode if you let the whole hose melt. All right. Well, note to self: don't don't let that happen. I definitely don't want to be blown up. Seen scale based meters for propane. Saw one under a grill. You kind of hung it on the scale and it went uh, full to empty as it got used. All right. See, that kind of thing. Yeah, that kind of thing would make my life easier. Just, uh, just remove some guesswork. If I were in that situation. <laughs> uh,. That's something to keep in mind. That's something to keep in mind. No! Leave me alone, ghost. all the crates in the first building I think really well oh thank you by the way cows i saw you delete that while i was reading a comment <laughs> thank you uh thank you for taking care of that uh taking care of that bot much appreciated a solution in my backyard for when i run out of propane is to steal the tank off the other grill <laughs> As I was reading that, Buddha Fingers, I thought you were going to say it was, was to steal my neighbor's tank. <laughs> like if you ran out, just, just sneak over to your neighbor's yard and, and swap the tanks.
And cows took care of me, Kasariyama says. They don't eat it as much as I do, Gabriel Fitz says. That's right. Fireplace table, solar grill, a bighorn broiler, and the walk. Four things that use uh, propane all out there. I've just got the, uh, all I've got is a, I've got a, like a barrel style grill. A charcoal grill. That's my only, that's currently my only outdoor cooking thing. But yeah, it could be, it could be nice to have a really, to have a really good walk outdoors. I'd like to, to construct a, I'd like to construct a barbecue pit in our backyard at some point. like to uh, like to establish a uh, like a barbecue pit and a vegetable garden in our backyard are the two big things we want to we want to do out there but uh, it's just so much other stuff to get done <laughs> there's so much other stuff to get done There's a lot of need to do's in front of our want to do's. Also, two charcoal grills, tabletop. Yakitori style grills. <laughs> Pit to throw your defeated enemies into after battle. <laughs> uh, a vegetable garden. Start with pumpkins, Tuesday says. The pumpkins are your recommendation. I have a bit of experience. I have a bit of experience growing pumpkins from uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons. <laughs> Around Halloween time, I learned what growing pumpkins was all about. Also have a pellet smoker out there. As I mentioned before, I love to cook. I think you. I uh, think you are more. I uh, think you're even more enthusiastic about it than I am. And uh, I like to I like to cook quite a bit.
Hey, it looks like we have a raid coming in. Uh, Ot Otaku Ben Skates and Games. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Pleasure to have you with us. Welcome in, raiders, to home improvement. Hope you're having an excellent stream tonight, everybody. Hey, welcome in, Otaku. Thank you for the raid. Very grateful to have you with us. Looks like you're playing Skate 3, if the if the shout-out link there is to be believed. I hope that treated you well. Is Skate the game that came with, like, uh... Like a, like a, like a plastic, like, skateboard controller? Ghost. Go over, go away, ghost. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tony Hawk's ride. Yeah, yeah. I think you're, I think you're right. Have uh, have one of those. I have one of those skateboard controllers. I didn't remember what it came with, but yeah, that sounds right. I think I have that game, the the ride game as well. But I've never used it. I uh, I've never used it for anything. I know my Tony Hawk games really well. It helped, the Buddha Finger says it helps that I'm open to eating a larger diversity of ingredients. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you did, pretty much everyone's got me beat there. <laughs> I like to idea uh, to organize everything into a better outdoor kitchen. Ideally, Buddha Finger says. From experience, pumpkins will grow without needing any attention. We've never even thought, "Hey, how about we grow some pumpkins?" And we've already got several vines growing all around the yard. <laughs> Big pumpkins too, uh, and roast pumpkin pieces don't seem to get old. Uh, I mainly messed around in Skate 3 to burn off some sleep trouble. I hope that uh, worked for you. Sorry to hear you're having trouble sleeping. I can relate. I can relate. I've had... I've had very low quality sleep for the past few days. I picked up some, uh, I picked up some melatonin tablets to... Hopefully help get me back on track. Ooh, uh, extra power up. That'd be nice for the 30 seconds until I lose it.
Oh, that enemy dropped a different weapon on me. I'm in trouble sleeping is typical for me because I'm prone to having an overly active mind, Otaku says. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what it is that's got me thrown off here lately, but. There goes the power up, there goes my power up. Can't, uh, I can't actually hit this spider. I'm gonna have to just be risky and take damage. Cool. Two crates left, two crates left. Ghost, please stay away. Cool, that was a lot of damage. I was pretty worried for a moment about where the last crate might be, but yeah, I didn't explore any of this area over here, so there's, yep, there it is. I was like, there's plenty of room for it to be over here. Let's go. Oh, Tony Hawk Ride and Shred are terrible skateboarding games. I missed that comment before. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've never, I've never actually played a skateboarding, uh, a skateboarding game. I don't think I'm not a, uh, I'm not well versed in them. I've heard, I've heard that a lot of, like a lot of people really like the, uh, particularly the older Tony Hawk. Pro skater games, it seems, but uh, I just I, I never checked them out. The skateboarding craze never caught hold of me yet. Mm-hmm. 
it's it's ridiculous how similar the layout of this stage is to the previous stage. It's basically like you're playing the same stage twice, because it's not just the it's not just the aesthetic. They they copied over so much of the architecture, just one for one. It's not great. Some of those jumps are tough to make too, that uh... The uh, rope does not always behave very well there. spider. I got burned with that spider last time. I forgot it was there. I'm glad it didn't hit me this time. But I remember after the fact getting burned by that spider before. That was very upsetting. Ah, feeling sleepy. Gonna head out. Hey, thank you again for the raid, Otaku. Appreciate that. It's good to see you for a bit. But uh, yeah, I hope you sleep well. Have a wonderful tomorrow. And Cow says, which is odd because the other levels have so much more variation. Why copy one and not all? Yeah. It is uh, It is pretty weird. Just that whole basement section that we just passed through is is just copied over one for one from the previous level. And that is the, that, yeah, that is the only part that feels like so directly copied. I mean, if you're going to... If you're gonna get lazy with part of your game, like, it makes sense to, like, you know, take more shortcuts in the middle, right? You'll ultimately leave a better impression that way, because the, the middle's, like, more forgettable than the beginning of the end, but... I don't know, I don't know. Uh, please stop. left 400 seconds to find them oh this part right here this room right here is a direct copy from the other stage so that's uh yeah that that rolled over too
me alone, you ghost, you're not my friend. button and I died oh there's our second death uh. that the second death or third death I think it's the second death. No, I didn't want this weapon. I can't hit any of these enemies. Uh, can, please, can things please stop being so bad? Hey, Salem, welcome in. Not only are cows important, they're also adorable, Salem says. I think that's the second death cow says. I think you're right. I think that's only the second one, which is pretty good. That crate up there that's up there right now is usually the one I grab last, so I'm not sure which one I missed. Is it to the left? Up and to the right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave me alone, spiders. I'm on a mission. No, don't get hit. Let's go. Give Tim Allen a lightsaber and let's be done with this. Hey, Swish, welcome in. I love that emote. Hey, thank you, Salem. Uh, I'm lucky. I've got some. Uh, I've got some pretty, pretty nice emotes. I think my uh, my wife Jelly makes uh, makes our emotes for us. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I'm off to an amazing start. They remind me of this book I used to read a lot as a kid. It had characters that looked like you were sort of icon Twitch picture. <laughs> thing I can think of is like the like the the Mr. Books. A series of books they're all called like Mr. Happy and Mr. Forgetful and Mr. Uh, excited and Mr. Sad. They're all just shapes. Just different color shapes. That's the closest thing I can think of. I'm doing horrible against this boss. I don't know why I'm doing so bad. I mean, part of it is I can't pick up any of the rings he drops. I really wish he'd get out of my personal space. <laughs> Thank goodness, or just stop existing. That's even better. That's it? That brought a smile to my face. Hey, happy I could help. I used to like those books when I was really little. I don't really remember anything about them, but I know that I read them all the time. Can't say I remember those books, Cow says. Yeah, they had tons of them. They had a series of miss books, too, that were the same thing. I think I've got a bunch of them somewhere. Alright, World 4 is my PB. I believe I've made it to Stage 4 of this world, but only just barely. And uh, before we dive in now, we're going to take a little BRB. 
I'm going to uh, I'm gonna make a run to the restroom and I'm gonna fill up my coffee. I'll be gone a few minutes. Try to be back quickly. But uh, thank you, thank you for enduring this game this far with me. And uh, boy, I'd really like to beat it tonight. But uh, historically, I've had a lot of trouble in this world, so uh, it very much may not happen. <laughs> Uh, I read those too, the Miss books as well. Right on. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I read them. I had a lot of fun with them, but uh, I was real little, so I, I don't remember much about them at all. But I'll, I'll see you again in just a few minutes, my friends. I'll be right back. <laughs> 